Today, we're going to be going over everything we know about the skills and talents for the upcoming Archer leaked commanders, Gilgamesh and Amanatori. What's going on guys? Cheers. Now, I just want to start this video by saying today we're going to be talking about some leaks of commanders that are allegedly coming to Rise of Kingdoms. This was not announced officially, so we, and you know, anything can change. I'm not saying any of this is set in stone. Of course, the images right here are blurred. The images do exist unblurred in multiple places on the internet, even here on YouTube, but I did not feel comfortable releasing full images here. So in this video, we're not going to be showing any images, but if you are curious to know what these alleged commanders might look like you can find some leaks in my discord link will be in the description below there is a chance that the makers of rise of kingdoms send me directly to jail so if you appreciate my efforts to continue bringing you this information go ahead and drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more okay so with all that disclaimer stuff out of the way all right gilgamesh and amanatori uh these commanders i woke up today with dms on discord shout out to everybody who's been sending me things over on discord i a huge huge shout out i was not expecting this leak at all like at all i was not expecting this they were really late with releasing uh pakal and chuck right so i did i thought we would be at least another three weeks before we'd even hear any rumors about about leaks right because uh we we there was a drought of leaks after uh ragnar and 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 bjorn came into the game so again i was not expecting this at all but here here we are we have not only what the commanders that are allegedly coming into the game look like uh, but we also have the skills for them that we're going to be talking about here today so of course these two new commanders that are likely going to be coming into the game but again it's a leak they maybe they won't uh these commanders are both allegedly archer commanders which is what we would expect the next commander cycle to be you can see uh, Gilgamesh on the left here uh, is going to be a archer skill and conquering commander and a mandatory over here is going to be an archer support and garrison commander. So just like we saw with the previous, uh, the latest cavalry commanders, uh, Zhang Yu and Yadviga, we, we saw a conquering and a garrison here again, we're seeing a conquering and a garrison. And I think the intention behind these commanders is to shake up the meta and guys, I'm going to say this right up front. Uh, I think. Think Zenobia has met her match absolutely 100% we're gonna go over that so make sure you stay tuned in this video and in fact you know what Let, let's just jump into it all right let's just jump into it we're gonna take a look at uh Gilgamesh's skills okay this is the conquering commander all of this is translated from a different language none of what you're looking at here is official text so without further ado Gilgamesh his active skill rage requirement of a thousand deals direct damage to the current target with a damage factor of 1500 and reduces its health by 30 percent for three seconds this is a significant debuff this is a very powerful health debuff to a single target do I wish it was AoE yes but I do think that this commander itself uh, is going to be uh, very powerful. So, uh, you know, even without AOE, I still think that this is going to be a commander that rally captains will expertise for sure, no doubt. Um, this is, again, a little low on the damage side, but a really powerful debuff. And as you guys know, Zenobia is garrison meta right now. She is health heavy, and health is the most premium stat, especially for an infantry garrison. So, this is absolutely devastating. Three seconds is standard and pretty solid let's take a look at his second skill this is a passive skill archers of this commander receive a bonus to health and a bonus to damage against enemy units in which less than 50 percent of the soldiers remain so essentially and again this is a rough google translation okay uh, so your archers will get 30 percent increased health and they will deal 20 percent increased damage when the enemy falls below 50 percent so this is really powerful for you know a garrison that has for example isun sin who actually gets a really powerful buff below 50 percent well now all of a sudden this rally is dealing 20 percent more damage to them so yeah again this really feels like a zenobia yss counter like it feels like they perfectly crafted this to crack zenobia yss and that is shown here with more evidence his third skill it says this commander's uh archers <laughs> gain a bonus to attack so you get 20 percent increase in archer attack so here we're seeing 30 percent archer health 20% archer attack 50% of stats that's crazy uh, when attacking cities or fortresses right so you're gonna be using this commander for rallies so you're gonna get 50% of stats uh, and you get a bonus to attack every six seconds so 
for every six seconds you get five percent increase in attack uh, and the stacks last 10 seconds you can accumulate up to six stacks so that's another 30 percent potentially of attack on top of the 20 percent. so that's 50 percent of total potential attack value if you're rallying with this commander if you are not rallying with this commander then you actually get nothing from the skill so this skill will do actually zero things uh in the open field so that's really interesting again you're probably only going to want to expertise this commander if you are leading rallies um but we'll we'll make that uh, assessment later in the video um this fourth skill says this commander's troops take less damage from normal attacks so you take 10% less damage from normal attacks. Uh, their attacks also have a 30% chance to grant the target a bloodlust debuff. So this is actually a new mechanic. This is a brand new mechanic for Gilgamesh. We've never seen this before. Targets under this debuff take damage when healed. The effect lasts three seconds and works no more than once every five seconds. So when you're attacking, every normal attack has a 30% chance to apply this debuff that will last for three seconds and if the target heals during that time they actually take 500 damage factor as well so this really is a huge huge attack on somebody like Zenobia right now Zenobia does heal way more than 500 but if we take a look here at the expertise what we're gonna see is that this is a buffed version of the fourth skill so it's even more devastating for that brand new mechanic now again I'm gonna say this again these are leaks this could be changed before this commander allegedly comes into the game uh we saw this with pakal right they there were you know talks e they even released pakal's images officially his skills officially on social media and then the next day they put him in the game and it's already changed so again this is a leak take this with a grain of salt this commander may never even come into the game right we don't even know we don't know if this is real or not yeah anyway um so you know again take this with a grain of salt this could change however right now this is what we are seeing as this commander's expertise skill it says this commander's troops take 15 percent less damage from normal attacks so here it was 10. we see an increase there uh their attacks have a 30 percent chance to add the debuff to targets targets under the debuff take uh 700 damage factor when healed so put that in perspective that's half of richard's healing is gone if he heals during this right which is crazy uh and you also I, I think this is actually poorly translated um the enemy will take 15 percent increased skill damage for the next four seconds right so we see a huge buff here not only do we take even less damage from normal attacks but it's a bigger multiplier for enemies that heal and the enemy will take 15 percent skill damage and it lasts for 33 percent more time right like one extra second doesn't sound like a lot but it increased the duration by 33 percent going from three to four right that's crazy so this is very powerful uh now this is you know if if you're attacking somebody that uh doesn't heal at all well then this isn't that great right and so one thing that's important and you know obviously taking 15 percent from let 15 percent less from normal attacks is really good right and especially in a long rally that's going to add up over time this really feels like a rally uh that you know it is is meant to counter Zenobia YSS and that's sort of it we don't see anything you know insane like a massive AoE we don't see circular AoE we don't see a ton of stuff right we don't see a massive skill shot like we do from Edward for example we don't uh, silence the target we don't remove debuffs we don't do any of that stuff right this literally is just adding health and attack reducing enemy health single target damage factor extra damage under 50 percent and basically every possible way to say hey Zenobia you're gonna die today that's what this commander looks like to me let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of Gilgamesh let's go ahead and move over to Amana Torre so this is again the Archer Garrison support commander active skill rage requirement a thousand deals direct damage to the current target this uh, commander's troops deal more damage over three seconds so you will deal 1300 damage factor to a single target pretty weak not gonna lie this is for you know this is a garrison commander um single target 1300 and you deal 20 percent more damage for three seconds that's nice right that is nice uh second skill archers of this commander gain 40 percent increased attack and you deal five percent more damage to infantry but take five percent more damage from cavalry so this is something similar to what we saw with the Adviga, right very similar here a nice solid attack stat is that what you want in the garrison not really right not really what you want in a garrison but still 40 percent is a big number big number so that's nice uh third skill archers gain a 
20% increase to deep defense, which is something you want to see for garrisons, right? However, I will point out that typically the best garrisons we've seen a 20% uh, defense buff and a 20% health buff. That seems to be the nice sweet spot. Or in the case of like Constantine, for example, we saw just like, what was it? 40% health, like crazy. However, we also see something interesting here where you have a 10% chance to remove all attack buffs from the target when this commander is in charge of your garrison. So this effect can only be triggered once every 10 seconds. So I really don't know what this means, right? Do they mean that you only are removing attack buffs from the skills, right? Or attack buffs that also apply from talents? Does that go away for a few seconds? Like, how does that work? Um, you know, it, it is if it's from, from talents, I think that this is only for attack triggered attack buffs, like for skills, for example, right? If a skill pops and gives you an extra 10 20 percent attack for a certain amount of time um you know like for example i think uh what is it um julius caesar's primary skill gives you an attack buff right and it's only for a certain amount of time this would remove that buff immediately um you know i this isn't very clear to me how this is going to work but that's my assumption of how it's going to work i don't think this will remove all attack enhancements in the game right um but it is really weird how it is worded especially with this poor translation so that's interesting right um you know again attack isn't the most premium stat so to remove your enemy attack buff it's like it really depends on what they mean by that um but if it's only you know i don't know i don't know how i feel about this is this busted good or is it just an interesting new mechanic i'm not really sure fourth skill when you take damage from skills you deal and this is the most confusing skill it took me like a couple seconds to figure this out so when you take skill damage you deal direct damage to enemies in a forward facing fan shaped area for up to three targets with a damage factor of 800. Okay. You with me? So when you take, so this is like choke, right? When you take skill damage, or at least that's how I'm understanding it, right? So when you take skill damage, you deal a 800 damage factor AOE that is reduced by 15% for each additional target, right? That's pretty standard. Uh, then if this commander is in a garrison and it takes uh, skill damage. Not only will it deal the 800 damage factor in a fan shaped area, uh, but it also has a 50% chance of doing another 500 damage factor, three target AOE. And then after that, there's another 20% chance of dealing another 400 damage factor, three target AOE, right? So again, just to recap, you take skill damage, you deal 800 damage factor AOE guaranteed, right? If you're in a garrison, there's a 50% chance that you'll also deal another 500. And then after that, there's another 20% chance you'll deal another 400. So, you know, this is, this seems very bursty and it's really based on RNG. Um, I don't know like what the average, uh, AOE damage is going to be from this commander if they're in a garrison and take skill damage. Um, uh, but I can imagine for long fights, the, it will average out and it'll be, uh, it'll be nice hitting some of those AFK marches next to a pass or a flag or something like that. Her expertise says this commander's troops cannot be silenced active skills reduce the targets rage by a hundred per second for two seconds this effect can only occur once every 10 seconds so that's that's crazy right first off no silencing period you're just never going to be silenced that's crazy you cannot silence this garrison period also when you use your active skill you're reducing the enemy's rage by 200 you're reducing it by 200. That's, that's a pretty substantial rage debuff. Um, I'm going to, I'm really interested to see how this commander is going to work. Um, this expertise seems really good. This is a commander that you will have to expertise and also is a commander that I feel like you really are only ever going to use in a garrison, right? It's going to be really interesting to see how this commander works out. It's also going to be, see, going to be really interesting to see how it pairs with, uh, you know, Artemisia, for example, that's a really already a powerful archer garrison that deals crazy aoe um to throw this throw her on top of it and like it's going to be really interesting to see how the garrison meta changes not only with zenobia being officially countered from my perspective and what my assumption is uh but also how this commander will play out is it going you know is a manator is is she going to be uh you know a little spark and then not that interesting sort of like Yadviga, or now that zenobia you know has a counter is Yadviga and this commander going to see a little bit more play? That's going to be really interesting to see 
how that all plays out and how that goes down i would love to hear your comments in the comments section below do you think these two new commanders are going to be super powerful and just change the complete meta or do you think it's going to be like you know yeah gilgamesh counters zenobia but he won't be good against anything else so he'll have sort of a niche role of countering just zenobia i'm really curious to see what you guys think about these commanders do you think they're overpowered do you think they're underwhelming um are you excited or not uh they are you know again this is probably going to be a mightiest governor and a wheel of fortune commander if they come into the game right um anyway guys if, again if you enjoy this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video my social media links are always in the description my instagram twitter facebook discord all that stuff again discord you want to check that for leaks in the future Go ahead and check it out for sure there's also a link to download rise of kingdoms in the description blue stacks 5 has been really really like a nice upgrade for blue stocks i'm really enjoying it it's free and it supports the channel if you don't like it you can always uninstall it later no big deal but i do think you guys will enjoy playing on your computer with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace